prove that uh, integration of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx is equal to 1 over a tan inverse of x over a plus c. And using this, we are going to prove the integration of this integral. So let us start with integration of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx. <coughs> Excuse me. So here, we need to do a trick substitution. Now, to do a trick substitution, I need a 1 here. In place of a squared, I want a 1. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the whole thing by a squared. So, this is x squared over a squared plus a squared over a squared. Now, you can't do this uh, on your own. You are dividing by 1 over a squared. So basically, you divide when you're dividing by 1 over a squared, you're multiplying by a squared. Now, to, to nullify that or to cancel that, I have to multiply by 1 over a squared. So basically, what happens is this and this are the same. Because when this goes up, you've got an a squared sitting here to cancel with this a squared, which will go up. So this is nothing but 1 over a squared integration of 1 over this I'll write 1 first 1 plus x squared over a squared dx okay now here the reason I wrote 1 plus x squared over a squared is I want to do a trick substitution and the trick substitution is uh, in place of this I'm going to put uh, tan squared theta because 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared so I'm going to let uh, x squared over a squared is equal to tan squared theta, which implies x squared is equal to a squared tan squared theta, which implies x is a tan theta, a tan theta. Again, that implies tan theta is x over a. And this implies tan uh, theta is tan inverse of. Now you may wonder what am I doing. Uh, if you understand the steps, don't worry what I'm doing. I will have to use this later on. So I'm saving this result. Okay. So let us go back. Uh, what have we written? X is. Let me use a different color. X is a tan theta which implies differentiating both sides with respect to theta. I can say dx by d theta is a sex squared theta, which implies dx is a sex squared theta uh, d theta. So what have we done is we have changed everything in terms of x to in terms of theta. So the whole thing has changed into a trig form. So I'm going to uh, scroll this up. This implies, I'm going to write this, 1 over a squared integration of 1 over 1 plus x squared a squared dx is equal to 1 over a squared integration of 1 over 1 plus x squared over a squared is tan squared theta, so that is tan squared theta times, what is dx? dx is nothing but a sex squared theta d theta. So the whole thing in from x and a has changed into, of course, 1 over a squared you've got, that's a constant, that's not going to cause any problem. So this is 1 over a squared integration of 1 over, and 1 plus tan squared theta is nothing but sec squared theta times a sec squared sec theta uh, sec theta d theta. So what gets cancelled? Oh, so this is sec squared theta. Okay, so this sec squared and this sec squared gets cancelled. This a and this a, one of the a gets cancelled. So this is nothing but 1 over a integration of d theta or 1 d theta, d theta, which is 1 over a times theta, integration of 
1 d theta is nothing but theta plus c. Now what is theta? Theta is 10 inverse of x over a. Okay, therefore I can say integration of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx is nothing but 1 over a times 10 inverse of x over a plus c. Now this is a very useful result. It's good if you can remember this result. Uh, those are learning uh, high level of calculus. It's good that you remember this. Okay, now we're going to use this to uh, integrate uh, this function. So let me copy and paste it here. It's not working. Okay, it's working now. Okay, so let me paste it here. Hopefully it will paste. Yeah, now I want to integrate this function and show that integration of this is equal to this. So, so I'm going to write this as integration of 1 over 4x squared minus 4x plus 3dx. Now this is equal to, I'm going to divide the whole thing by 4. So this is 1 over, this is, so let me write like this, 4x squared over 4 minus 4x over 4 plus 3 over 4 dx. Okay, uh, when you're dividing by 1 quarter, you're multiplying by 4. So you're dividing by 4 to get rid of this 4. So this is 1 quarter times integration of 1 over x squared minus x plus 3 quarters dx. I want to make a complete, uh, a perfect square. So this is 1 quarter integration of 1 over completing squares. That is x squared minus x plus 1 quarter because the coefficient of x is 1 and the half of 1 is, half of negative 1 is uh, negative half and the square of negative half is 1 quarter. So you're adding 1 quarter, so you take away 1 quarter plus 3 quarters dx. So this is nothing but 1 over 4 integration of 1 over, this becomes x minus half squared plus 1 half dx. So this is nothing but 1 over 1 quarter times integration of 1 over x minus half squared plus this is 1 over root 2 squared dx. Okay, now just we proved, we just saw integration of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx is equal to 1 over a tan inverse of x over a plus c. So when you compare a with 1 over root c and this x with x minus 1 half, I can say this is nothing but 1 over 1 over, uh, this becomes, your a is 1 over half. So I can write 1 over 1 over root 2. You got a 1 quarter sitting here. So the integration of this is 1 over a. Now a is 1 over root 2. So this is 1 over root 2 times tan inverse of x. What is your x? x is nothing but x minus half over a, which is 1 over root 2 plus c. So we need to simplify this a little. So this is nothing but, this will go up 2 over 2 times, this is root 2. This 4 I'm writing as 2 times root 2 times root 2 times 10 inverse of, this becomes 2x 2x minus 1 times this root 2 will go up over this 2. I hope you can understand my algebra here. Plus c. Because this simplifies to 2x minus 1 over 2. That 2 goes to the numerate, denominator. And this root, root 2 will go to the numerator. So this root 2 and this root 2 gets cancelled. So this is 1 over 2 root 2. Then inverse of 
So this, I'll write like this. This is 2x minus 1 times root 2 over root 2 times root 2 plus c. Now this root 2 and this root 2 gets cancelled, which is nothing but 1 over 2 root 2 times tan inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 2 plus c. Okay, let's check whether we have got that same thing. Yeah, 1 over 2 root 2 times tan inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 2 plus c. And that's what we have got.